Hi guys, Diana here to talk to you about products I am thankful for. We are heading towards Thanksgiving and I think a lot of us are probably doing that Facebook thing where you do 30 days of being thankful. Uh, for me personally, I do 30 days of being thankful. I do it in a journal. And um, for me, there are a lot of beauty products as well that I'm thankful for. I mean, there are tons of things in the world to be thankful for, family and music and love and our jobs and just all the wonderful blessings in our lives. But there are some beauty things to be thankful for too. And I have to say a lot of my beauty products are blessings in my life. So I wanted to share some of them with you guys today. I'm just going to get my mirror out of the way here. So I'm going to start with like non makeup things. And um, I would have to say, the number one thing that I am thankful for, honestly, is my SkinCeuticals skincare regimen. So SkinCeuticals is a dermatologist office formula, and um, you can find it online. And I find that this is the um, only product that I have ever used. I've, I'm using three different ones. I'm using the Age Interrupter at the moment which is a um, mature skin treatment to help reverse the erosion of elasticity and firmness caused by advanced glycation, glycation, yep, end products. I don't know. It's very, you know, scientific. I use the Renew Overnight for dry skin because I do have very dry skin. And then this is my favorite product of all the products. This is the Epidermal Repair. And I probably use this about once a week. My skin would probably be even uh, better than it is now if I used it more. It's just these products are quite expensive. And these products were actually given to me to review. But uh, when they were given to me, I was told how amazing they were. And boy, oh boy, were they right about how amazing they are. I'm, I can do a more in-depth review of those later. But, I mean, if you look at some of my older videos, you can totally see that I have intense forehead creasing like really intense forehead creasing. And these products, hands down, have basically removed that creasing. I mean, you can see now in HD, I do have like this small line, but I used to have three lines and they used to be really, really uh, just sort of getting very deep for my age because I'm, I'm not that old to be having a ton of creasing. So I have to say these products are something I am so thankful for and I would never live without now that I have had them. Um, on the same on the same line of product, which is skincare, I still love and am very thankful for my Oilatum Natural Repair Face Cream, because even when I'm having breakout problems, which you can see I am having a little bit of a breakout here, um, I can always go to this and know that it's not going to break me out more, and it's very moisturizing. So right now, my house is dry because I've got the heat on. I'm sure you guys are going through the same thing if you live in the East Coast. And um, it really penetrates very deeply, just like it says, and it's not heavy, and you can put your makeup on over this and there's no problem. Another thing I really like about this, when my skin is sort of <coughs> tight and dry, um, it just sort of blends into the skin in a very natural way. So I feel like I could apply this multiple times a day if I was having super, super dry skin, and um, I often apply it over a moisturizer, like an anti-aging moisturizer, to give me an extra boost sometimes. So, love this as well. <clears throat> I just want to apologize for the um, sound of my sick voice. Obviously, I have a little bit of a cold. So, let's see. Do I have any more skincare? I do. I have body skincare. Now, this is very general, and this just happens to be the example that I have today. But I am thankful for having oil to put on my body when I shower because I like to just kind of, while I'm still wet, but just rub down my body with oil and um, then I just towel off. And I find that this is a way to keep my skin really nice and moisturized. I do happen to have dry skin. It also gives you kind of like a nice sheen and glow and it just keeps me feeling um, very like, just my skin feels very youthful. So what I'm using right now, I got from the vitamin, from Lucky Vitamin. And this is Heritage Store, which is like an all-natural brand. It's PB, um, it's PBA free. Oh, no, wait, I lied. It is um, pesticide-free, eco-friendly, cruelty-free. Uh, it's based with peanut and olive oil and lanolin it has in here as well. And then this one's coconut musk, and it smells delicious. It's called Aura Glow with Paba, and it's a body massage oil for beautiful skin, and it has just a really 
it just has like a nice light coconut scent. It's not like, hello, I just put on a thousand pounds of Hawaiian Tropic scent. And I love it because my skin feels so delicious and delightful after I've used it. Another thing that I am thankful for since we're in the shower right now is finding products that are drugstore products that I don't have to spend a ton of money on for my hair that really work for me. So for me, I'm loving, still loving, you've seen me do videos on this before or mention it in my other videos, the L'Oreal Ever Creme Sulfate Free Cleansing Conditioner. Now, I love this product because it shampoos my hair without drying it out. I have very long hair now and um, I think that it works so well to style with as well. Like I'm not finding because it doesn't have a lot of setting and sort of shampoo action because you're not going to get a huge lather with this product. I'm not finding that my hair is like weighed down or heavy or doesn't have volume. It totally still keeps the volume in there. And I love it because it's like under eight bucks. So I think it's actually probably under seven bucks. So um, I love not having to spend a ton of money on my hair and on all of my products because as you guys know, some of your products are just expensive, and it's really nice when you find one that you like just as much as your expensive ones, um, only they're not expensive. And in the same um, brand here, the Evercreme Deep Conditioner, let's see what it's called, the Deep Nourishing Mask, I hadn't used it since this summer, and I used it uh, maybe a week ago, and I was like, whoa, big hair difference. So I have to go out and grab another one of these because I'm almost done with this one. So I have like a tiny bit left. And I often do that when I don't have enough of a product left. I'm like, oh, I'll just leave it for a while. And then it sort of gets tossed to the bottom of a pile, and it's a shame because this made a big, big difference for my hair. My hair had a lot more volume. It was had a lot more movement because now that it's longer and I don't have a lot of layers, I don't have a ton of movement, so I noticed a huge difference. So I will be running out to the store and grabbing one of these as soon as this guy is finished. Um, on to hair, I don't have two examples for you, but I am thankful for it's a 10 miracle treatment because my hair would be a disaster without it. I just think this product is so amazing. It um, works so well, it's a heat protector, it repairs dry and damaged hair, it adds shines, it detangles, it controls frizz, it seals and protects hair color, it prevents split ends, it stops hair breakage, it creates silkiness, it enhances natural body. So I mean it does 10 things, that's why it's called It's a 10, and it really does work super well. I've even been to hair salons where the hair stylist has to be loyal to a certain brand, you know, only sell brands that are sort of in um, her salon, and she had this like secretly in her little drawer, and she was like, oh, I can use it on you if that's your favorite product. So, I mean, even uh, professionals know that this is a super stellar product. It's a little bit pricey, but it's worth every penny. And then my last sort of, <clears throat> excuse me, not skin product, or not makeup product, is dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is very important for girls with long hair because I'm currently trying to follow a regime which is a little bit hard to only wash my hair twice a week. And I'm only trying to uh, blow dry it once, one of those times. So the other time I try to let my hair dry naturally because I really wanna keep my long hair. I'm loving having long hair. And I've always been loyal to the Oscar Blondie dry shampoo. It has a delicious lemony scent. Um, I'll tell you what it's made with. It's made with rice starch and oat bran extract and it has tea tree oil in it which is really really wonderful and this one you just kind of I'll show you how it comes out let me see if I can you can see it kind of comes out like this so you kind of want to um, scoosh the air a little bit to kind of get it blended and um, even though I have very dark hair what I tend to do is apply this at night so I will the night before I need my hair to be freshened Freshen up my hair, apply it all in there, rub it in um, to the root. I only apply it on the root because you don't want to absorb any oils near the ends of your hair. And actually, you should brush your hair before you apply this to get some of those oils down into the drier bits of your hair first and then absorb the, the leftover oil at the top of your head. So I usually apply it from the ear and up. I don't usually apply it from, at the back portion of my hair because I do have a lot of dryness in the back portion. Rub it in, like I said to you, and then I just go to bed. I don't blend it. I don't try to make it look not white. I kind of look a little bit like an old lady um, because that's the way that I do it. And it works beautifully, and I love it, but I do have a new favorite. And my new favorite is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This one is the Proud and True Brit. 
I adore the packaging. I don't know if this is going to be available um, for very long, just because I believe that this is sort of a, an Olympic-themed, possibly, one. But this one smells so amazing. Okay, I don't know what it is about this scent that I love so much, you might have this and you might think, oh well, whatever, it doesn't smell like good. It makes my whole top floor when I use this smell delicious. And like for the whole day when I come upstairs, I can smell that I had used this that day. And I do hope they're still making it because I love it. I need to get in touch with my UK people and get them to ship me one. But anyway, this is the same exact product except it's an aerosol and I can't spray it now to show you just because um, you know, my hair is kind of in a deep conditioning high bun, but um, this one is a little bit easier to use if you don't want to spray your hair the night before or if you need a refresher after the gym. Any aerosol will be. They do actually sell the uh, Oscar Blondie in an aerosol as well, but I still usually use this the night before. Um, sometimes I'll, you know, the very next day for some reason have a little bit of uh, root fallout where I feel like it's not um, volumized enough, so then I will just add that for a little bit of volume. But love them both, great products, and um, I could not live without dry shampoo. So those are my products that I'm thankful for that are not makeup related. I'm just going to cut this video here since I can see that it's already a little bit long, and um, next will be my makeup products that I am very thankful for. So thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned or click here so you can watch the continuation. Bye loves!